don't perform that useless sacrifice Ikenga told you to perform. And do not for any reason get married to that woman called Mary. Why are you so bitter? Why are you full of anger and bitterness? Why are you tormenting me? What do you want from me? I have made it clear to you that you and I have nothing in common. Mind the choice of your words. Else, else what? I am not going to do what you have asked me to do. Never. What are you going to do to me? What? Listen, I am going to marry that girl and there is nothing you can do about it because you are dead, gone and buried. The dead and the living have nothing in common. Stay away from me. I think it was a very terrible man. I have not had that kind of feeling in 20 years. Take this. Ensure you wear it around your neck always. It will prevent her from coming in contact with you. Meaning that it's not a lasting solution. At least it will prevent her from coming to you for the meantime until a proper sacrifice is carried out. As soon as you make available the items for A goat. Hen. Four cola nuts. Four native eggs. Four umzu. Four alligator eggs. from uh, hey sorry where have you been i've been searching for you all, all over the place what happened to you hey, i'm so tired i i have to go inside and take my bath and have some rest
Why have you been at home? Oh, I see. I see it's because of that. Where can you get from your pants? What do you see in her? I never knew you had stood so deep to have an affair with him. Are you afraid of what it is that she presents as that she can I have told you that this time, you and I will be to stop. And then we show you. All this thing, you see what you want. You look like a sweet hot. Do you realize that you're coming to see a kid? And you show up with you. Not yet. You and I will never push it. Stop pushing. I can see she has succeeded in casting this burden. But well, my pain now will sit back and watch that sit. Lose it to the And then I will have that. Mandy, I would rather spend the rest of my life under Miriam Masuya. Get out of my places. I'm resting. Out. Um, Father, I don't know how you're going to feel about this. But please, I want you to see reasons with me. Listen to me, me. If whatever thing you are trying to say to me is all about you divorcing your husband, you better keep it to yourself. Because you already know my stand on this. Why are you always like this? Eh? As a father, why can't you just, you know, listen to your daughter for once? Hey, ne, please talk. They lost whatever you want to say. We are listening. You know? Um, Father, the king has declared his interest in getting married to me. And I've accepted to marry. What? Me? What have you just said? Um, Papa, you heard me correctly. I have accepted to marry the king. No, okay. Father. Father! 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 What is wrong with you? Father! 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 What is wrong with you? Father, what is wrong with him? Tell her what I did in my compound. I heard what happened, so I decided to come and check up on you to know how you're doing. Can you at least offer me a seat? I do not have a seat to offer to you because I can't remember inviting you to my house. What is your problem? You are my problem, Stella. You are my problem. Your presence in my compound is the problem. Take a leave now. Why have you chosen to embarrass me each time I come visiting? If that is the only way I can save myself from the trouble you want to put me into, then I will not stop embarrassing you. Huh? Uh, uh, hello, Tony. Yes, 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 I, I'm at home. Yeah. Huh? What? My father-in-law? Which hospital? I, I'll be there soon, I'll be there soon. What is it? None of your problem. When you don't stay in, you walk out. I, I just want to help. Oh. 
Okay, okay I just want to. Hey, 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 don't talk about my name again. Can you allow me to help you out? I do not need your help. Ah. Ah, ah. Oh. Greetings, Ono. Oh, my <laughs> son. Ono. Oh, uh, greetings. Thank you. How are you? Ah, I'm fine, Ono. Oh, I heard uh, what happened to you and them. Um, but we, we just have to thank Chukwu Kikabiamai that you are back alive. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. It was a very terrible experience. Very terrible. An experience I don't even wish. I was telling It's alright. That's alright, my son. I can imagine what you went through. Honestly. Don't know who they dealt with me. Don't know who they dealt with me. They almost killed me. I, I almost lost my life. Oh no. But that reminds me, there's this thing I have been having in my mind. Do you think the king has a hand in what happened to you? Uh, oh no, I, I, I may not be able to answer this question. But oh no, I want you to have this in your mind that the king, the king is dealing with me and he's killing me slowly. Is he's killing me slowly? Oh no, it would have been better the king kidnapped me than what he's doing to me currently. My son, your, your words are so deep, touchy, heavy. Uh, I, I wish you can open up to me. Uh, oh no, I'm actually rushing to somewhere to see somebody. Yeah, I, I, I have to be on my way now. No. Ah. Cutting to the point where no one deem it necessary to tell me about Papa's sudden illness. If my friend didn't call me on the phone to let me know, I would not have known. It's not what you think. Everything happened so fast, so we had to rush in to save his life first. Besides, we didn't know how you were going to feel if we had called you to tell you about his condition. Greetings, Your Majesty. He's fine, but he hasn't said anything or opened his eyes since we got here. But his breathing has normalized. Yes, they are. they've given him like five injections as he's on drip at the moment. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. We appreciate. Okay. Okay. My, my son, why are you here? We did not invite any external body to this meeting. So, what are you doing here? I came uninvited. I greet you all, my elders. I am here because of the impunity that is going on in this kingdom. Did you say impunity? Oh, oh no, you heard him very well. 
So let him tell us the impunity he meant so that we can proceed with the meeting. I want you all to please have me beg the king to leave my beautiful wife alone. Young man, what do you mean by this very statement you just made? The king is having an affair with my beautiful wife. And from look of things, my wife is pregnant for him. Why? Huh? I beg you, just relax yourself, oh? Nothing will happen to you. I don't like it here. I really need to be in my house. Nothing, nothing will ever happen to me. Yes, and I. Nothing will ever happen to you. You will be fine for us, oh? Papa, just calm down, oh? Mama, now that he's awake, let me quickly call the doctor to come and check up on him while I go to get some clothes and make food for us to eat. That's a very good idea. Please, don't stay long. I won't. Papa, please don't panic, okay? You'll be fine. I'll be back. Don't get in the rush. I'm not going into your phone. My battery is down, so when I return... What are you doing here? What kind of a question is that? Do you know you're a very shameless woman? Do you know that? What have I done for you to call me a shameless woman? Why are you calling me a shameless woman? For what? Do you know if anyone had told me that you opened this stupid legs for another man to penetrate you, for another man to enter you, I swear, I wouldn't believe that person. You had the gall to open your leg for that irresponsible man that calls himself the king to the extent of getting pregnant for him. I can't remember telling you I, was, I am pregnant. Oh, you think I do not know? You think I do not know that you're pregnant for that animal? You think I do not know? Listen, take this stupid thing, this thing you call pregnancy, take it back to that animal. But why are you shouting? You asking what I'm shouting? Yes, why? In my own to? house! You're asking what I'm shouting! Voice. You are... You've not seen shouting. Hold on. I am going see, You see the other side of shouting. You idiot. What are you, you trying to do? You said I am raising my voice. You said that I'm raising my voice! You said I'm raising my voice! Idiot. I am raising my voice. Come back and back your kids! Animal! That I'm raising my voice! You had the ghost! But when that stupid left for, the, for, 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 for that animal? Don't get you pregnant! You! You marry man! You want to pack your things? Come back and pack your things! You are not ashamed of yourself! Idiot! Come back and pack your things! Imagine Obi chased me out of his compound with a court mask today. Okay. Mama, Obi was ready to cut me into pieces, so. Wait, oh. Ha, wait. You mean the Obi that I know? Yes, Mama. Chased you out of his company with a cut glass? Yes. Like it, Mezi? Ijo Munjone. 
Eh? I'm at the level of hate I saw in Obi's eyes today. It's completely out of this world. <laughs> if I wasn't fast and smart enough, Mama, Obi would have killed me. He would have cut me into pieces. Hey. I just had to judge Jelly. Calmly go to the house to bring Papa's things and this food here. Let me tell you, he can't try nonsense. If he tries anything stupid, I will show him the stuff I am made of. Angoronko, you see me bria? I pick up. Ongi ko ne yegu. Come mind him. All this rubbish, both of you are vomiting here, simply because you are still alive. In fact, he did not do well to have allowed you to leave his compound in one piece. Where to be in his shoes, I will have butchered you and faced the concomitant consequences. After due consideration, I have decided to do what is required of me, escape. I have decided to take another wife and I am going to make it happen within the time frame stipulated by our tradition. Your Majesty, are you sure you are really the one talking? What is wrong with you? What kind of question is that? Oh, are you indirectly insulting the king or something? Oh no, please. Don't say what I did not say. Then, then, In which way then. did I insult the king? You men should keep quiet and allow the king finish with what he's saying. I strongly believe he is not done talking. Who told you? Are you the king? What else do you want the king to say that he has not said? Okay, for this child. My king, which maiden have you chosen to be to marry? I have chosen to marry the one that has my seed in her. I have chosen Umiriyama as my next wife and the next queen of this kingdom. Your Majesty. Grace, mm -hmm. I strongly believe that Johnson is responsible for his kidnap. Why would you say such a thing? See, I understand you don't like him. I know, you don't like Johnson, you don't want anything because I don't want to see him around. But accusing him for something so dangerous, it's, 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 it's something I don't understand. Baby girl, that is big now. I know what I am saying. My instinct has never failed me. And there is nothing anybody would say or do to make me believe otherwise. So how do you come to the conclusion that he kidnapped him? Because his attitude changed towards me. Listen, Obi's attitude changed and got worse after he was released by the kidnappers. The things he said to me the last time I visited him clearly shows that his kidnap has something to do with me. I am very sure Johnson is responsible for that incident. <sighs> the question is, why would he do that and what does it stand to gain? I don't know. I need to find out. <gasps> I'm surprised. Same. the man that was in this world? Oh, he's no longer here. Oh, uh, he has been transferred to another world? No, sir. He has been discharged. The doctor discharged him an hour ago. Good news. <laughs> Thanks to Chukoki Kabiyama that he's alive. Alright, uh, thank you so much. I, I'll be on my way to the house to see them. 
Why did you like to the young man about the whereabouts of that man and his family? Are you the only nurse in this hospital that have not heard the strict warning from the doctor concerning this matter? Or are you not aware that the family of the man said that we should not allow him close to the world? My sister, I didn't hear anything. No. Thank goodness that I wasn't the one he met because I would have shown him to the new um, ward where he was moved to. <laughs> And that would have been worst because Doc would have dealt with you, seriously. Thank you for saving me. Um, meanwhile, doctor said you should be fast with the dressing of the bed so that the new patients can move in. I know. All right. See Bye. you later. Okay? <laughs> it still baffles me that the king wants to intimidate that young man because of his poor status, by declaring his intention to marry a, marry a married woman. Does it mean that there are no longer maidens in this kingdom? You see, the lady in question mm. has already made her choice based on the news available to me. Mm. Yes, she has already made her choice, and that choice is our king. Mm. Okaka. Show me someone who is brought into affluence and he rejected it. And I will show you someone that died and many years later, he came back to life. God. Mary accepted our king because her husband is poor. And our king is anchoring on that. Okaka, this is bad. Amadi, thank you very much for your foresight. Will the elders cannot be alive hmm, and watch this abomination take place? Are you in any way, Uzondo? Are you in any way insinuating that our king does not know what he's doing? His action shows that he deliberately wants to hurt the young man. But count me out. I cannot be part of this. Listen. Will the elders must make sure that this marriage becomes null and void? Sure. It must not take place. At all. Hey, if both of you continue with this blasphemy, mm -hmm. I will be forced to walk out on you. Uh -huh. You already walked out from the beginning, Okaka. Oh, oh. <laughs> Your presence is no longer in this picture. Okay, is that what you said? Yeah, that that's what I, I, you already know. Okay. Suit yourself. How? Who's on the road? Amadi. I know exactly what we will do. Yes. Papa? Papa? Mama? Mama? Miri? Papa? Papa? Mama? Mary! Mary! What is going on? Where could they have gone? The nurse told me that they were discharged an hour ago. Could it be that they went to somewhere 
from the hospital. Or is someone trying to play smart one on me? Stella, what is the meaning of this madness? Meaning of what madness? What did you do? I don't, I don't get it. What do you mean? Don't what? joke with my brains. What did you do? Do what exactly? Do you actually think I am daft? What did you do to Obi? Obi, Obi, I don't know. Now you listen to me. I don't care what you've done, but you must have to understand. Hey, things. listen to me. I know that I love you. Manamuga Kariko, I am sorry. Look, you can rant the way you like, I don't care. But don't forget, you are standing before Johnson, a very dangerous drug lord. Managi Seoku, else you will have yourself to be blamed. I am not afraid of you. I've never been and I will never be. Like I said, make sure you undo whatever it is that you've done, else you will have me to battle with you. I will not want you again. What is truly going on? My wife has not returned home for two days now, and she has refused to take my calls. I think I caused it. I shouldn't have chased her away with the cutlass. Obi, what have you done to yourself? Why couldn't you control your anger that very day? If I knew things would turn out this way, I wouldn't have done what I did. What do I do to make her come back? I'm so shocked to, to see my in my compound. To, to what do I owe this surprise visit? Obi. Sir? I want you never to tell anyone what happened between us, right? Yes, sir. You, you, you warned me and I, I gave you my word. My word is my bond. So why did you go against the promise you made that very day? I swear. I... I I, I didn't go against it. I didn't tell anyone uh, anything that happened. Shut up your mouth! Yes, sir. You didn't tell anyone about it. So how did Stella get to know about it? Huh? Stella? Who told her? I mean, how, how, how did she get to know about it? Listen to me. If you ask me that useless question again, I will not be responsible for whatever that's going to happen to me right here. Yes, sir. But I... I honestly, I... I didn't tell her. Neither did I discuss it with anybody. I, I, I didn't. I swear. I am ready to swear with anything you you want me to swear. Even with the deity, I will swear. I swear. I didn't. I didn't discuss it. I, I swear. Now listen. Let me give you the last warning. Yes, sir. If you value this miserable and wretched life of yours, yes, sir. Never you tell anyone what happened between you and I. Yes, sir. And stay away from my woman, Stella. Yes, sir. Failure to do so. Remember what I told you. Yes, sir. May beg this. Yes, sir.
My elders, I greet you all. You are welcome. Honestly, I didn't believe I'd find myself in the situation that I am. In my entire life. My elders, I love my wife so much. So much that I had to give one of my kidneys to her. Which is the reason she's alive today. I supported her financially when she was in the university. I supported her financially and otherwise when she was looking for a job. Until the king helped her secure a job in the state university where she lost three years into our marriage. My others, I have done enough, so much for my wife whom I still love from the best part of me. The only thing that hurts me so much where she is is that she betrayed my love and my trust. At this point, we have heard your own part of the story. We will also like to hear her own side of the story. Miruama, talk to us. <clears throat> my elders, I greet you all. We we'll greet you. Sincerely speaking, all he has said is true. And I truly appreciate him for that. I didn't marry my husband because I loved him as much as he loved me. But I chose him over the king because of the sacrifice he made for me in the past. And especially for the kidney he gave to me without blinking. That singular act made me promise myself that I was going to be indebted to him forever. After our marriage, <laughs> I found out that my husband here is impotent. His manhood is completely dead. But I couldn't leave the marriage because of the sacrifice he made for me in the past. And also because of the oath of secrecy that I later found out <laughs> was a scam. After our marriage, we traveled abroad, courtesy of the king. While we were abroad, he accidentally killed a prominent man with his car. That case almost took his life because he was driving without license and he was also drunk. We lost all we had and came back almost with nothing. I also took care of him until I lost my job at the State University. I have done a lot. I have also sacrificed a lot in the past five years and this scam we call marriage. My major anger here is that this man sitting right here called my husband, deceived me into getting married to him, knowing full well that he is impotent. Hmm. Oh no. no. My fellow elders, this is a very, very delicate issue yes. and I urge us to look at this issue with all senses of carefulness. <clears throat> mm. Thank you. It shows on as none we base here. You have a point. And on that note, you don't force a he goat upon a she goat. It won't work. It has to be natural. First and foremost, I would like to know uh, from both of you uh, if you are ready to continue this marriage afterwards or you wish to go separate ways after this meeting. Oh no. Yes. I am ready to continue. 
because I love my wife so much. The way she leave my beautiful wife alone for me. Well, um, my elders, mm -hmm. I am sorry to say, I am no longer interested in this marriage. Mm -hmm. I want a divorce. I want out. I am already pregnant for the king. And as we all know, a man that has never slept with his wife since they got married cannot father the child that I am carrying. So I am done. Here's that. Daddy, I'm listening. But Daddy, I didn't do any of those. I promise you I did not. Why would you even believe what they told you? Yes, Daddy. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, I'm listening. All right, Dad. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, son. Bye. What's up, baby? What did you tell my father, Grace? I don't understand. What do you mean by what did I tell your what father? What don't you understand? My father called me, asking me what's been going on between myself, Obi and Johnson. And the last time I checked, you are the only one that knows the whole story. So what did you tell my father? I you assumed I'm the one that told him what Why going not? On. But I never say a thing to him. Why would I even do that? What for? Am I a kid? Ha! If okay, if I'm I'm wondering if you did not say a thing to him, then who did? Do you find this? Because I never say a thing to him. Wait. Someone somewhere is saying something to my dad. And you believe I'm the one? Grace. I'm not happy. What would you even... Please. We all know that it is an abomination that our tradition forbids that that a child, a king's child, be raised outside the palace, particularly when the child is male. Talk more of another man fathering a prince and a apparent to the throne. You, you see, you see, not when the king is still alive. It doesn't happen. Oh no, how do you know that the child in the womb is a male child? Okay, uh, Madi, uh, uh, forgive me. Uh, I didn't tell everyone the outcome of our visit in search of the truth. The panel of inquiry sent to ask questions through a king came back with the information that the child that Mary is carrying in her womb is the king's blood and a male child. Uh, it's and Okaka okay, can attest to that because they are back on the same journey with me. You are very correct, uh, Ono. But the woman in question 
is still married to another man. Hmm. So my question is, are we going to support our king to take the wife of another man away from him? Exactly the same question I've been wanting to ask, Ichi Ozondo. I mean, what are we trying to teach our youths? Huh? We all must call a spade a spade. We are elders. We are no longer children. The king is wrong by sleeping with another man's wife. To the extent of getting her pregnant, in my opinion, he should be made to face the full rot of law. Yes. He should be made to face every punishment our tradition stipulates for offenders like him. That's it. Remember, you still the king of this land. <laughs> yes, of course. The woman in question said that the young man lured her into the marriage deceitfully. So we must be very, very careful the way we handle this matter. That is true. Okay, no, no. Okay, thank you so much, Okaka. That is very true. My fellow elders, what are we even talking about? Why are we beating about the bush? You understand? You're right. so, someone's knowledge is limited to someone's experience. Yes. Why are we even trying to overheat the polity? We're all aware that the, 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 lady, the marriage between Obi and the Miri is based on deceit, which our tradition does not support. Our tradition kicks against it, does not recognize it at all. Oh, okay. We are all here when Mary told us that her husband deceived her into the marriage without her knowing that the young man is important. So what are we talking about? And the young man could not deny it. You don't, use, you don't need a lantern to search for daylight. You understand? It's a very, very simple matter. So it is true that some of you, maybe you don't like the king, you hate the king, but we should be very, very careful. Let us be very careful so that we don't take a decision that will haunt us, that will backfire in future. All of us. Anne mama janjo, anne o, anne bunne, na ma kakwa. Anne, anne bunne o, anne mama janjo. What are you doing here? Greetings, mama. Keep your useless greetings to yourself. I said, what are you doing here? I, I. I came to apologize for... Uh, apologize for what exactly? For deceiving my daughter into marrying you. When you know very well that you are not any man but a vegetable. What have you got to apologize? For wasting the five whole years of this girl. Now you are here to apologize. Get out of this house. Get out of that Pema Anya Get out! Miriam. Miriam, I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. Before God and man, be strong. But please, forgive me. Forgive me and come back home. Please, I need you. I, I, I need you around me, please. Yeah, see? yeah, young man. In the room, are you drunk? No. He said, he said, he said, he said no. no. I said you should get out of my house. And you are here calling him Miriam. Look. Miriam, you are here. You are here. You Obobogi, get out of my house. Mama, I'm sorry. Please, I me. said you should get out. Let me talk to her to follow me. Mama, I can't live without her. Yes. Mama, oh, that is it. Come and live without her. Live without her. That is the apology. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out. Get out of my house. Mama, I won't leave. I leave my wife. She has to go with me. She will come and she's my wife. I married her legally. She's my wife. Honey, let's leave this place. 
Uh, I won't leave you without my wife. You still have mouth to talk. I won't leave without my wife. It's my wife. Okay, you still have mouth to talk. Good. Okay. I can see that you are a good beggar. You are a good beggar, Mama. Mama. No, you are a good Mama. beggar. Uh, uh. No, come and apologize. Mama. Idiot, come. Don't run, come. Useless man. Useless idiot. Nonsense. No. Miri babu kwegi. Miri. Love. Love bu kwegi. Miri babu ogi. Hanuman. Ne. Let me tell you. Don't listen to him. Don't ever listen to him. He's evil. In Anuhen Nagwagi. That marriage is over and over. When I say over, I mean over. Akoro om. Stamp poya. It is stamped. It is over. Are you hearing me? Nothing like marriage between two of you anymore. It is good that you get into your marriage. Give birth to your children as your mother gave birth to you. Aria, that is it now. You want to go there and imprison yourself. Is that what you want? Don't ever get close to him. The marriage is over. Over and over. Get inside the one. Take the knife and smash it inside. Useless man. apology. Apology bukwegi mili bukwegi. Hanema. Idiot. Come, come back again. No, you, you come back again. I'm waiting for you. Your Majesty, we have carefully looked into the matter on ground. And we've also come to the conclusion that the marriage between Obi and the Miri has been a deceit. Still a deceit, which is not acceptable in the eyes of the gods and of men. Even our tradition forbids such. So you can go ahead and marry Mary. Your Majesty, the only thing is that Onu should return the bride prize paid on her head. That bride prize should be returned to Obi. And that is that. So, you now go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, that is our conclusion. Thank you very much, Ono. And to my elders, I want to thank you, especially, for being so kind and understanding, and also agreeing to do the right thing. I understand that the controversy that this issue um, has stirred up is capable of splitting this cabinet apart, but we are thankful to the gods for wisdom and direction. We are here now. There is no going back. We can only do um, what we have to do. So once again, I say thank you and I appreciate you all. You're welcome, Your thank Majesty. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Your Majesty, the bitter truth is we are not proud of what you did. Nevertheless, what must be done must be done. But this era keeps giving place to beautiful ladies without brains. Should I say? that the beautiful ladies of this actually sold their brains for beauty. What is wrong with you? And what is wrong with you? Okan, what are you trying to say? And what they say is enough for the price. But it is very clear to me that a thousand more have refused to sink into the hair of this beautiful maiden standing before me. Who can do? Don't take man this limit attitude of talking to the male guard like you for granted. I am capable of sending you back to the trenches where you belong. Don't insult me. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Listen to me, man. The Okando that you just referred to as a man guy has the power to ban you from entering this palace. 
for any reason whatsoever. So be very careful with the things that come out of this bowl that we call mouth. Choose your words very carefully. Listen to me, young lady. The king is resting and has ordered me not to allow any form of nuisance within his palace. I will advise you to leave this place immediately. Who can do? Are you indirectly saying I'm causing you to see the palace? Count your teeth with your mom. That is, if you actually have a mom at all. Leave this palace immediately before I order my boys to throw you out like a stupid fellow that you are. Hello? Yes, uh, I'll be speaking. Who is this, please? I shouldn't bother about the identity of this person speaking. Why do you want to see me? All right. Where is the venue, please? Okay. What could this be? I hope this is not the plan for me to be kidnapped again. Eye of the gods, when a hunter is fully dressed in his regalia, no one sees him to ask where he is headed. Oh no, you are very correct. There is no need to consult with the gods to know that what brought you here is very important. You are indeed a man of wisdom, Ikenga. Okay, I am here to inform you that our great king, the supreme ruler of this great kingdom, the white lion himself, is so much ready to perform the spirit binding sacrifice. Mm. That's good news. In other words, he is ready to remarry? You are correct. The items have been listed. As soon as he makes them available, we'll fix a day for the next AK Market Day, which is the day of Ochama, the abiding God. And the ritual exercise will commence. Thank you so much, Eye of the Gods. I will so relay this beautiful news to the king. Thank you so much. What do you mean by, I have lost my wife? You act as if you don't know the happenings. Did you come out of my house to make this kind of joke or what? Well, the king of this kingdom has perfected his plans of getting married to your wife, Miri. How did you get this information? How I got this information doesn't matter. What matters now is how to get you out of this predicament. See, you have to act fast. Or you lose your wife to the king forever. Yes, you have to act real fast. Um, oh no. Yes, my son. I'm sorry, I'm still a son of the soil. So that uh, you will not go and report me to the email <laughs> okay. I did not give you. Thank you, you very much. Enough. It's okay. Um, thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Please call mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. I must say I'm surprised to see the tooth running in the daytime. To what do I owe this uh, unshadowed visit of yours? 
Mazono. Asna kano si reba poso kisi hachwe. Yes. The way an animal takes off is the same way you run after it. Well, um, to clear your curiosity by answering your question, my visit to your house is not by accident. This visit had been scheduled by the gods ever before you and I came to this world. Yes, the gods are already aware that I will be here today. So it is not by accident. That one is a truism, but I must say that you are still a, a circumambulating. You have not answered my question. Okay. Um. Let me go straight to the point. The king of this kingdom has indicated interest in making your daughter his wife. And um, I am here as the unknown <laughs> of this kingdom, the Prime Minister, to formally inform you that our king is interested in making your daughter his wife. <laughs> this, of course, is for you. <laughs> uh, oh no. You of all people know that I have only one child for now. And that one child is Mary, I who know. got married to a young man called Obi. How then can the king send you to come and declare his intention to make someone who is already married his wife? Uh, as none of you are you, we are you or not. If we have to be a lover, I'm listening. Good. Well, you, I expect you should sound this way. I'm not surprised. Um, every reasonable father should equally sound the same way in a situation like this. Mm, the truth is that your daughter is carrying the seed of the king of this kingdom. You see, tradition forbids that the king's child be raised outside the palace. We are talking about the heir apparent to the throne of this great kingdom. My son, it might interest you to hear this, that the gods have revealed that your daughter is carrying the future king of this great kingdom. I'm actually on my way to your house. To my house? Yes, oh no. I hope all is well. Ah, oh no. How can all be well when the only thing that means the whole world to me is about to be taken from me? Oh no. How can all be well? <sighs> is it not better you go straight to the point? Hit the nail at the head. Straight. I, I, I'll go straight to the point. Oh no. Okay, okay. I oh, know it's about the king and my beautiful wife, Miri. I have a very reliable information 
that the king is planning to begin the marriage process. Oh no. I beg you in the name of the gods, please go and meet the king. Tell him to leave Mary for me. Mary is all I have in this world. Please. Oh no. There are so many maidens in this kingdom. The king can call for a meeting. He's a handsome man and wealthy. He can pick one from the world. So many of them he can just, he can, if he wants to get them, he can get 10 of them. But please, let him leave Mary for me. Please. First and foremost, whoever that gave you the information is right. There are fights you can never win. Yes. And this very fight you are about involving yourself is one of them. You can never win. How do you mean? I am just coming from your supposed in-law's place. I want to see him to finalize arrangements because in two days' time, we will be there to commence the traditional marriage rites as tradition demands. So, I will advise you back down from that fight. Forget the fight. It is already late. So late. We've lost the battle. we know in this kingdom to be very reckless drunks. You are not one of them. Why are you acting like them? Eh? Do not insult me else. You will see the beast in me. Okando Machi Nemere does not have the time to insult anybody. Okando only looks people in the face and tells them how he feels. Listen to me. It is only a drunk that will have the mind to stand on the way of the king. What is wrong with you? Please, I beg you, leave the way for he has a very important... Go on, tell your capital. king that he has to run over me before he can make use of this throat today. How dare you open your gutter mouth to forbid such rubbish? Mm. Are you all right? What is wrong with you? Your, your majesty, Obina, why are you in my way? Your Majesty, why did you decide to take that which matters to me? Why, Your Majesty, why? I am king. I take what I want, especially if it is going to give me joy and satisfy my soul. Obina, I don't like that you're standing in my way. Seeing you in this position, my first instinct naturally would be to run you over. But you see, your life is of no meaning to me, and I would not want to take it. I'm running late for a meeting. Do not be an impediment. You have to run me over, your majesty, before you can make use of this road today. I swear. I will not leave this road today, your majesty. Today! How can you call it what matters to me and you ask me to leave the road for you? Your majesty, I will never run me over if you have to make use of this road today. You will never use this road. It belongs to me today, your majesty. You have to run over me to make use of this road, your majesty. I will never leave. Not possible. You can't take the breath that I breath. Ah, mbano, mbano. Ah! Hey! Wani nega nuonum. 
the whole world will hear my voice today. That His Majesty forcefully collected what belongs to me. Bang. Ah! You know what? The way you behave at times gets me pissed off. What nonsense are you talking about? Call it whatever you like, but you are not doing the right thing. If you never had the wrong man. Has it got anything to do with our daughter and the king? If yes, please forget about it. There's nothing to forget about. From all indications, Obi has hypnotized you. Uh, <laughs> Listen to me. No one has hypnotized me. Rather, I am just standing on the path of justice and truth. What nonsense justice and truth are you talking about? And I, let me ask you, why did you say a word when Ono was talking to you about the marriage process? Is that what your problem is all about? Yes, that is my problem. Why did you talk? Let me tell you, whatever a man will do is in his heart at any point in time. So I know what I want. Hello, sir. Oh, no. Oh, I am very sorry for having not called you earlier. Yes, yes. Uh, the thing is, uh, I have not been well since yesterday. Yes. I've been having cold, catar, headache, and severe stomach ache. I, 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 I'm even stooling too. <clears throat> As I speak with you now, I am inside the toilet. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I've gotten some drugs. Thank you very much for your concern. Uh, oh no, please. I will not be able to join you and the other elders to go to Maziono's house. Yes, I uh, yes, I've gotten some drugs before, but once I'm done from here, I need to go and get additional drugs. Yes, yes, I won't be able to join you to Ono's house with other elders. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ono. Thank you for understanding, please. Nonsense. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> greetings, Onu, a noble and great man of our kingdom. Greetings, Onu. Greetings. Elders of Obuduku uh, Kingdom. I greet you. Mazonu, your countenance screams unhappiness. And you seem to be in a hurry. I, I want to ask, is everything all right? Oh, no. I don't want to circumambulate. Let me go straight to the matter as the crow flies. Some hoodlums, Christian or non gunmen, had the temerity of the intestinal fortitude to barge into my house to adopt my daughter. Even as we speak now, they are still at large. What? What are you talking about? When did this happen? Early hours of today. I, I, and, and I want to ask you who must have done this? That is what. Who I'm, must have done this? That's what I'm yet to ascertain. 
as a matter of urgency, I am rushing to the community police station to make an entry. Please, 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 please. No. I'm not abandoning you, people. No, no, you no, can no. see the, the urgency no, 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 of the do. situation on ground. Quiet and pensive. What is going on? You're all seated mute, like a set of people whose tongues are tied. Or am I not forbidding? from getting a feedback from my elders in council. What is going on? When a child is sent on an errand, and such errand is not pleasing, the child finds it difficult to go back home. Bezal. Your Majesty. The feedback we bear is not pleasing at all, and it's not rosy. Even the life we live is not rosy, eh? but we still carry on. As your king, I demand feedback. <sighs> what I'm about to say is heartbreaking. But you have to prudently handle it. Our meeting with Mazono. Yes. He said his daughter was kidnapped early hours of the day. What? Well, um, that is exactly. That was how we felt when we had the news. I'm still wondering who must have masterminded such an evil act. Your Majesty, do you have anyone in mind? Whoever is behind this has touched the tail of the white lion. And I am going to get to the ends of the earth if that is what it takes to fish that person out. It's heartbreaking, but you have to prudently handle it. Our meeting with Mazono. Yes. He said his daughter was kidnapped early hours of the day. What? Well, um, that is exactly, that was how we felt when we had the news. I'm still wondering who must have masterminded such an evil act. Your Majesty, do you have anyone in mind? Whoever is behind this has touched the tail of the white lion. And I am going to get to the ends of the earth if that is what it takes to fish that person out. When someone wants to protect whatever he or she cherishes, that person can go any length to ensure that everything works according to plan. Mm. Oh no, you are right. 
but I am yet to understand the context of your statement. <sighs> My son, I understand what you're passing through. But you're passing through a very hard time. The hard phase of life is what you are into right now. But don't you think that your recent action is not worth it? Oh no, they are still speaking in riddles. Can you come out clean so I can understand what you're trying to say? Mm. Okay. Must you kidnap Miri? Must you kidnap her? In order to make a point to the king. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, which, wait, what do you mean are you talking about? My wife? I, I, I love you. Okay. Bring her back. Very simple. Bring her back. Oh no, I don't know what you are talking. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, let, let me let me just finish. Bring her back. Don't let this matter escalate. Have in the mind that the moment you want to fight the king, you are preparing to fight the entire kingdom. Please be prudent. Oh no, where, where did you get this information from? You are talking about my wife, you know. Where did it happen? Where? Where? Like, how? Who kidnapped my Miri? Oh no, where is my wife? Hold on. Are you saying you weren't the one? Why would you walk into my house and order me to undo what I did within 24 hours? And I am confused because I, I, I can't even remember doing anything. What exactly did I do that I have to undo within 24 hours? You know, the more you pretend, the more I get pissed. How could you be so heartless, Stella? How could you? Obi, the fact that I love you enough to do anything for you should not give you the right to disrespect or insult me. Don't you ever try it. Because when the devil in one is unleashed, the person can do the unexpected. Have you not unleashed the devil already in you? Have you not? For the fact that you do not love Mary doesn't give you the right to get her kidnapped. Now this is the highest joke of the century. Listen, I'm ready. I'm ready to pay you every time, every time that you spent on me. But please, I am begging you, release my wife for me. Uh, wait, I'm, I am lost. Your wife? Kidnapped? How? I don't understand. Oh, there she goes again, pretending. Okay, newsflash. Mary was kidnapped by Stella just to get me. Is that loud enough? I don't understand what you're talking about. What's all this? What exactly are you talking about? Wait, is this how low you now see me? You think of me so low as to being capable of kidnapping someone? Oh, a desperate man can go to any length just to prove a point. But listen, release my wife for me. I have had enough of your madness in my house. What would you think that I kidnapped your wife? To what end? And what would I even stand to gain? Me? Me, of course! But listen, I'm giving you 24 hours. That is what I'm giving to you. 24 hours to release my wife, else you won't like me when I come back here. 24 hours. What's that madness about? So what do I owe this surprise visit? I thought you were prudent and wise. I guess I was wrong. What are you trying to say? 
Oh, please don't give me that pretense, scheme of yours. Why do you act so childish? You're speaking in riddles, Manti. Can you go straight to the point? I asked you to make sure the marriage between the king and the Mary becomes no and void. But what did you do instead? You decided to touch the tail of a lion instead of shooting it. Why did you kidnap Mary? Why are you accusing me wrongly? Why on earth will I kidnap the woman that I love so much? Why? Listen and listen real good. This action of yours is about to cost me a fortune. I'm giving you just 24 hours to undo that which you've done. Else, <laughs> I'll play a tune you can never dance to. Man, did you have to believe me? I did not Mandy does not repeat herself twice. Don't say I did not want you. Have a nice day. insane because I know I've warned you countless times to stay away from me. What do you want? Stella, I am that tune you will always dance to all the rest of your life. That does not answer my question. What exactly do you want? I have it on good authority that you kidnap me. Where did you get such useless information from? I am only unaware of something I do not want to know. I want you to release that lady, else. Else what? Else what I am asking you? 
So you actually feel so comfortable coming to my father's house to rant at will? How dare you? I'm ranting? Stella, did you just say I'm ranting? Of course you know you are ranting. Else, what will you be doing here? Now, listen to me. I want you to tell your boy, Sharp, to release that lady immediately. Else, I am going to storm their dens and expose you. How, how did you get to know about Sharp? I give you one hour. If you do not release that lady, you are going to see the demon in me. Just shut up. Seriously? This is it. Huh? Babe, just shut up and let me think. I need to clear my head. Clear what? What nonsense do you want to clear? When did you become this hardened? When did you become a kidnapper? Grace, you are in no position to judge me. Oh, please. I have every right to judge you. You heard me. I have every right to judge you. What if your dad got to know about this? What will you tell him? I thought you were my friend. You've changed. When did you become this? What, what, what is wrong with you? Come on. Everything I did was out of desperation. <laughs> I love Ubi a lot. I love him so much that I can do anything to have him. I need him. Really? Really? Seriously? Okay. Before your obsession will get out of hand, I have a vital information for you. What is it? Is it about Obi? Yes. Obi is impotent. What? You heard me. Yes. It's important. And I have a varied evidence to show you. No. No. <laughs> I mean, baby girl, Obi does not want all these fights. My God. <sighs> Come on, baby. You've changed. Obi is not worth all these fights. Go and release that innocent lady, please. This is not you. Please. Okay? Come here. It's alright, okay? It's alright. Okay. 
Oh no, it is not just unfortunate, it is a bad omen. As a matter of fact, it is an abomination, Your Majesty. Exactly. It shows on you are very correct. Oh no, it shows on Your words are deep. I want to know if we're still on the same page. Your Majesty, we have been on the same page before, but the death of Maziono has torn us apart. You're still speaking, Redos. I demand that you speak in plain language. If there's anything you're hiding, talk to me about it. Your Majesty, Ichi Uzondu is like the crab that cannot be eaten in hiding. There's nothing I'm hiding. There is nothing to my knowledge that is outside the knowledge of Onowu and the other elders. To say the least, Your Majesty, I am surprised that you seem not to understand the implication of Mazionu's death to the discussion we are having at the moment. Onowu, what exactly is going on? Mm -hmm. As no na ba dobi ezo chie na ona ha hazin hanya. When you cut a rope and tie it back, it can never be of the same size. You see, uh, the, 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 the sudden death of Mahazeon has actually affected a lot of things. Has become a clog in the wheel of progress. As far as you getting married to Miri is concerned. Mahazono, who is supposed to return the bride prize paid on her daughter, at the same time receive your own bride prize, is no longer alive. I'm afraid the marriage may not work. I am afraid. I knew very well from the beginning that that marriage will never hold. The reason I did not follow you people to the meeting at Maziono's house. Ichi Uzondo, what are you saying? Does it mean you know something about his death? Please, 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 please. Ichi Okaka, I beg of you. Don't misinterpret me. Don't misinterpret what I've just said right now. I know nothing about his death, please. Hmm. My greatest surprise is for the fact that at the meeting today, mm. the king acted as if he did not know what Ichi Ozon was talking about uh, Mazzano's death. It is surprising to me too, but something keeps telling me that our king knows what he's doing. Well, to me, that is his business. Tradition remains tradition, and we must follow tradition. The king can never marry Mary. My king, am I cursed? Mm -mm. Don't ever say that again. Why would anyone look at a beautiful woman like you and call you cursed? No, you're not cursed, my darling. 
are just like raw gold that needs to pass through fire to make fine steel. How do you mean? Everything that we're going through, it's just normal. Things that we need to go through for our love to shine. And how long is that going to take for that to happen? Oh, very soon, my darling, very soon. All of this abnormality, jealousy, envy, you know, would die down. People would get used to our love and celebrate our love. <laughs> you just have a way of consoling my bleeding heart with your sweet and beautiful words. When you know that what you have said will never happen. How do you know that the things that I say will not happen? Hmm? Have you stopped believing in the power of love? You just said to me some minutes ago that the elders said the death of my father means the end of our marriage plans. Worry not yourself about the words of my cabinet members. But think constantly about the power of our love. For that in itself is capable of seeing us through. Okay? You just have a way of changing situations with your words. I know. <laughs> you just have a way of changing situations with words. Thank you for giving me hope to love and believe in the power of love again. Thank you for coming back to love this imperfect king in the most perfect way. And I will always love you no matter what. Please, my king, can you forgive Obi and grant him freedom? How I wish the dead can witness their own burial. Why did you say that? <laughs> Mama, where will I start from? Is that the 10 cows? Five different bands? Mama, or is it the serve yourself kind of food? Hey? The king really <laughs> spends lots of money in this papa's burial room. I wish your father was alive to witness that Dobi he was seriously fighting for could not contribute anything meaningful in this barrier. Mama, if not for the king, will they see this kind of burial in this kingdom? Nebe. Hey. Eh, but Mama, the only problem right now is how do we return the bride price back to Obi? Mm -hmm. Mama, like your father told me, uh, the, the tradition of this kingdom forbids a woman from uh, returning bride price or collecting dowry. That's it. But the question is, what do we do? What's the way forward? Well, um, I could remember that your father told me that his younger brother relocated to uh, 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 one kingdom like that years ago. His younger brother. Younger brother. Oh, yes, 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 Mama, I remember. I remember Uncle of Fokansi. That's it. Hey. Of Fokansi. But did he tell you the particular kingdom? Mm hmm. Um, 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 ah, yes, uh, yes, 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 ancient kingdom. kingdom. Uh, yeah, yeah, I but I don't know if he will still be there. I don't know, but we will check. Oh, we have, we have to now, hey, but we don't know the exact place. Don't worry, when we get to that place, we know how to go. Hey, we, we will ask.
You're not going to spend the rest of your life thanking me now, would you? My uh. thanksgiving to you will never cease. Is that so? Yeah, you don't understand what you have done for my family and I. What exactly did I do? You lifted a huge burden off our shoulder. Come on, stop it. It's nothing. We truly appreciate your kindness. Thank you too for staying true, baby. Can I get a kiss for that? Why you want a kiss now? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. <sighs> there is a new development. Is that so? Yeah. What is it? My mother mentioned my father's younger brother can stand in as my father. Hold on. Your father has a brother? Yes, he does. You never mentioned him. I guess I forgot. <laughs> but he doesn't live in this kingdom. So, he can return the bright prize to Obina and his kinsmen. And also accept your bright prize you pay on my head. I see you have it all worked out, huh? <laughs> I cannot wait to be your wife. Hmm. Mm. The power of love. I am now an ardent believer. I told you you would. <laughs> Come here. Mm. What do you want? And how did you locate my house in the first place? Oh, of all can say, calm down. <laughs> Why not welcome us properly? Um, the, the, the king is here before you. The king, you say? Yes. <laughs> oh no. The last time I checked, he's the king of Obodoku Kingdom. And not the king of this very kingdom that I live. I ask you again, oh no, for the last time. What do you want? Of course, I don't need a soothsayer to tell me that we are not welcome in your board. Well, for whatever reason best known to you. However, I beg of you, kindly find a place you have to forgive us. Whatever wrong we have done against you, kindly forgive us. Grant us audience. Can we go inside and have a word with you? Audience inside my house? Listen to me, you are going to stand right here and tell me whatever you have come to tell me. And you have just five minutes to do so. Really? Okay. Well, um, a man has right to accept, welcome or reject a visitor. Oh, thank God you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, we respect that decision of yours. But our king needs your help. That is why we have traveled all the way from Oboluku to your place. Please. Listen, I do not have that luxury of patience right now. So go straight to the point. Oh no. Okay, okay. Our king is interested in marrying your late brother's daughter. Oh, really? Yes, of course. <laughs> king! And how is that my business? The marriage cannot hold. Without the bride price paid on her head by her former husband being returned to him. And you are the only one that can do that. Returning of the old bride price and receiving of the new one from our king. Kindly do a disturbance. I beg you in the name of whatever you believe, whatever you worship, do help us. Please. Oh no. It is only a dog that goes back to its vomit. Oh no, my late brother and his entire family. At the vomit, I am not ready to go back to. You have both overstayed your welcome in my compound. I need you to leave before I do something very stupid. We should leave? I said leave! Uh, we should leave? Uh, including the king? Yes. With the king. Leave.
you mean of what can see ordered you out of his house? Not just ordered us out of his house. I have never been humiliated or embarrassed like this in my life. I needed to see how he belittled the king and I. As if we are not existing. As if we are nothing. He abandoned us, left us outside, went inside. Can you imagine? This is serious. How can a focancy be so rude to you and the king? Well, the thing is, according to him, he said this family is a vomit that he can never, never go back to it again. And um, of the truth, Adugo, I want to ask you, what is the thing? Is there, is there anything this family is owing him? What, what is the problem? I mean, because... Uh, so, her focus is still harboring that man is in his heart. Even though his elder brother is late. Hey. Uh, uh, Come here. What? What malice are you talking about? My husband told me that there was a land dispute between our focancy and the chief so. Mm -hmm. And then um, our focancy, knowing very well that the land does not belong to him, reported the matter to their kinsmen. Along the line, they were ordered to swear. And my late husband interceded by telling the truth in order to save the life of his younger brother. This is the case. Hmm. This is very serious. I never knew he still has that in his mind up to date. Up to date upon his elder brother has died. Why? This is very serious. Uh, no, what do we do? What do we do? This is serious. Hmm. Hmm. This is serious. So this master has this in his mind. No wonder. Oh no, what do we do? The fact that the lion belongs to the cat's family does not make the cat a lion. Or focus is a principle and a strong willed man who hates to repeat himself. So the question is, what are you doing in my compound? Uh, Biko, or focus say, take it easy, we are all humans. Biko. Uh, look, our people used to say that in your cocoa monmiriacho, di kwanyamba. Eh? I know you had an issue with my late husband, your brother. But for how long are you going to keep this malice? How long? It has been years. Your brother is now late. Bikonu, allow the sleeping dog lie. There is no sleeping dog in this case. And if there was, it will continue being awake. Mm -hmm. I ask you again. What are you doing in my compound? I stop beating, stop beating about the bush. Please, I, I, it's okay. I am here because of the issue of uh, Mary's marriage. Our daughter, your daughter, Biko. You, you can't keep dwelling in the past. Biko, no. you are now the father of our family. You are, you are the papa we know. Yeah? I urge you to move on. Because now move on on it. Because the issue of Mary's marriage is now lying on your shoulders. Because I'm begging you, listen to the plea of a broken woman. There's nothing I can do. There is no peace for the wicked. My late brother brought this whole drama upon his family. I will advise you to go back home and dance to the tune he has established. Hey, 
Hey, no, please, please, don't do this to me. Listen to me. If the hope and life of your little family is hanging on an edge, and I, of Fokasi, will have to be the one to save it, I will sit back and watch you perish. So get out of my compound. Leave my house. Oh, fuck leave. Can't leave. Fuck and see. Just leave. I oh, fucking see you. I said leave my house. Hey. Oh, fuck and see. This is not fair. Oh. Leave my house. Nkabu sequence call for. Nkabu sequence call for. How can you behave like this? When only my late brother stood against me, where were you? When he stood against me, where were you? You are no more fuck and see you. This is sensi call for. Nonsense. Hello, my love. I am not totally fine. I'm not at all. Can you believe what happened today? Hmm. My mom went to see my uncle of Okansi because of this same marriage issue and he humiliated her. Yes, he, his reasons is because of what happened between him and my late father in the past. Because of the land dispute, exactly. I don't know. He said my father was against him and he lost the case. That's why he won't forgive him, even in death. Can you imagine that? <sighs> my love, this whole thing is getting me worried. It's giving me sleepless nights. Okay, my love. I'll I'll just I'll try to be fine. Okay. No, I won't. I can't give up in our love. I won't do that. All right. I love you too. All right. Bye. Why are you people disturbing my peace? Have I not made it clear that I am not ready to do what you're asking me to do? My late brother stood against me when I needed him most. He spoke in favor of Ijoku instead of me, his blood brother. Now tell me, how do you expect me to do anything that will favor his, his family? How? A focancy. Truth is bitter. We all know that your late brother Ono did what he should do. He did the right thing. And his singular action saved you from death. That is the truth of the matter. But think for instance, if he did not open up to say the truth, if he had allowed you to swear that the land in question belonged to you, that would have been your end. But, but that is not why we are here anyway. I beg of you, kindly let us concentrate on the matter on ground. Of oh, course, I beg of you, please, do have a change of heart, for God's sake. Mazi, of course. I understand how you feel. You see, when situations like this arise, first, things first. I'd like to, as much as I can, put myself in people's shoes. That way I get to feel what they feel. So that I don't make um, an insensitive assessment of what is going on. But having said that, I want you to know that I am here because I respect you. I'm here because I want peace. I am here because I propagate peace. I am here because I love your niece. Become. I also want to tell you that I am also not here to talk about the events of the past, that who was wrong or who was right. I'll ask that you forgive. 
so that the innocent children of today do not have to deal with the sins of their fathers. Be calm. Be calm. From your narration, I'm Amne Mejog. Odozien. Butua. Ah, this is your niece. She needs you. And you need her too. I beg you, forgive my father in any way he offended you in the past. Please don't turn your back at me at this very point in time. Uncle, look at me. Please. At least if not for any reason. For the sake of this child I am carrying. I beg you, Uncle, please. Please forgive me. Forgive me, I beg you. That's all right. Right, my daughter. Listen to me. I have forgiven you and your family. I've heard. For the mere fact that an innocent child is involved in this situation. It simply means I have to do all that I have to do. Stop crying, that's all right. Okay. Uh. Mas, thank you very much. I know that she appreciates our respect. That's why she wants to see us. One is expected to leave the water for his or her own safety. I wonder why you are still pretending as if you are not seeing this tide. Hello? Can you come out clean so I can understand you? I'll be the king! Made it categorically clear that he wants to make Mili his queen. But you bluntly refused, despite all pleas. Ichie, so you left your house to my pleas to say this to me? Mr. Obi, I would love to come in at this point in time. As you can see, we are here for peace and not to stage war with you. I like to hit the nail on the head. The noble elders of this great kingdom and myself are here to return the bride price you paid on my late brother's daughter's head. As you know, my niece is pregnant for the noble king of this great kingdom. And she has made up her mind to be married to the king. So we are only pleading that you accept the bride price you paid on her head. So she can be at peace with herself and then you can also have your peace. That's all we are asking for. Is this a gang up to forcefully take my wife from me? Obi, my son, I know the king has been respectful to you, has been polite, has been diplomatic to you. Do not take that for cowardice. Yes. Don't take it for cowardice. I believe you overstayed your welcome. You may take your leave now. How dare you! Other elders of this great kingdom out of your house. In Lewala. Who are you? You don't want to leave, right? Hold on. I am coming. We are waiting. You see, this is very simple. Come over. I need it. Where are you? No, 
Anuman, Anuman! No, come back! Bring the bright price! Idiot! No, 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 she wants a bright, bright, bright price! Get out of the chapel now, you're there! I have never been humiliated like this in my entire life. That good for nothing boy, he had the mind, the temerity to point a gun at us. And as if that wasn't even enough, he made us run like little children. Hmm. Listen, we should be thanking the gods because we are alive. Listen, it's not because we ran for our dear lives. You and I know that you would have been dead by now. So, let us thank the gods for surviving it. So, who behind the gods to pursue you people with God? Eh? Hey. He has grown. Obi has grown. You needed to see the fire in his eyes. The anger. When he was pointing the gun at us. Like I said, if not because we ran for our dear lives, we would have been dead. He has gone out of a normal human being. I don't know what is wrong with him. I don't even know the kind of human being he is. Okaka had to run straight to his house because he said he cannot come here <laughs> with us. That boy has to be taught some little lesson. It's high time he knows that there are certain things he cannot do and then get away with them. I think he has beaten more than he can chew. He needs to be taught a lesson. Hmm. I need to go and see him. What did you say? I don't know what you heard me correctly. I need to go and see him and talk some senses into him. What's all this? And I go put I go put My daughter, you are not going anywhere. Be gone. You have heard what he did to your uncle and the name. Eh? Do you want to go there and endanger your life? Bah, I don't want anything to happen to you. My daughter, please don't go there. Don't! You don't clean the eye and the ear with the same object. Don't go there, please. That man is a beast. As we speak, he can kill. He can kill at any point. That idiot. That stupid fool will not try anything stupid. Because if he does, <laughs> I will show him who I am. He has not seen anything yet. What kind of human being? I've tolerated enough. There comes a point in every man's life when he has to accept the sour taste of life. Obi, you and I... No, stop! 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 Stop this minute! I do not have that patience to stomach the bitter taste of your presence. A lot has happened already. But at this point, we need to think outside the box. Who are the we? Hey, who are we? You and I. Did you hear yourself well? Huh? Did I hear you well, sir? We. How can a selfish person like you use that word, we? Did you remember to think outside the box when you were busy opening your legs for him? Hey, get out of my house now. Get out. Obi, please, I understand your pain. But at this point, you just need to accept the inevitable truth. Please, I beg you, accept the diary. I don't want us to be in this unfruitful war. Oh, oh, oh. So you want me to concede defeat, right? 
No. I am just asking you to be reasonable here. This is a fight you cannot win. And I don't want you to get hurt. I think you have stayed your welcome. Get out. Obi, please. I said, get out! Leave. Oh. I, I, I do not want to force you. Leave. Ready, get out! Get out! Marriage, oh for the Munanga. Why I married you out of sympathy? Marriage is for better for us. If I go, there is no going back. Miriam, I am tired of this marriage. Kobina. I have come here because I have a heart. The bias seen if it am mad. You can know maybe. Obulokwano kwa. When people find themselves in very difficult situations, you ask yourself, how would you have felt if you found yourself in that situation? I'm here to talk to you. I know that the last couple of months have been long and hard for you. But I am here to tailor your heart and proffer what I feel would be a solution. and see how we can put an end to this cold war. Obina, you know that if we continue to fight, uh, the grass would suffer. And you and I would not want to Miriamma to be that grass. It is going to destroy her. And I know that you love her. That is not what you want for her. And so I have come to appeal to you. As your king and as your fellow man, to please let her go. I know it is hard. I know that it is not easy. But she has made her choice. Do you want her to continue to live a loveless life? I'm sure you don't want a ticking time bomb as a wife in your home. Be calm. Find it in your heart to let the one woman that you and I are in love with follow her heart. This is not about me. It's not about you. It is about Timbiriyama, her interests, and the choice that she has made. I am not the villain here. I just happen to be a product of the choice that she has made. I beg you, as your king and as your fellow man, let her go. Obi, can't you see that Joko Kikid did not want both of us to live together forever? Can't you see the reality of life that is staring you in the face?
What reality are you talking about? That I am in love with another man. Obi, you and I know that this pregnancy belongs to the king. Obi, I fell out of love with you even before I married you. How do you mean? The moment I met the king, I knew he was my husband. I fell in love with him immediately, and my heart stopped beating for you. Obi, I married you out of pity and loyalty. I married you because of the sacrifice you made to save my life. I married you because I wanted to fulfill the promise that I made to you. If you refuse to collect the bright price that was paid on my head, I will be forced to live in this house with you as your wife. But I will never get rid of this child. I will give birth to this child in this house, and this child will bear the name of the king. <sighs> Secondly, you will live a loveless life, for I will show you no love, for I have no atom of love for you. I ask you, is this the kind of life you want to live as a man? Why don't you just let me go so that you can heal and find another woman that will love you and accept you the way you are? Please, I beg you. Please, I beg you, do this for me. Please. Please, Obi. I beg you, please. Just listen to me and do this for me. Please. Hello. Um, it is very clear to me that Chukwu Kike did not create both of us for each other. This is the most difficult decision I have to take and a very difficult one. I have loved you all through my life. I have made so much sacrifices. But at this point, I, I have to accept my fate. I want to let you know that I, I do not have anything against you. Not at all. I, I want I want you to tell your people to 
so return the bright prize I I paid on your head. I'm now ready to accept it. You can go ahead and marry the king. I wish you good luck. <laughs> After the rain comes sunshine. sunshine. My father told me that an anticipated war does not consume a cripple. <laughs> Today is a great day and uh, we are here finally. We want to first and foremost thank you for the wonderful role you played. Thank you so much. I'm the gods of this land, of Ubuduku, of your land. Bless and protect you. Yes. yes um, in accordance with the list you gave us, uh, these are the items we have come. Once more, thank you so much. In love, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you very much, you know, you have said so much. I want to sincerely appreciate you all for being part of this great occasion today. My king, the lion himself. Greetings. Indiche, I want to appreciate you for coming. Uh, without wasting much of our time, I have seen the items you came with. They are all complete. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It only saddles my heart that my brother, Ono, is not here. But I know that even in death, he's here with us in the spirit. Well, without wasting much of our time, let us do the needful. <laughs> uh, My daughter, Asamwa, mirror of beauty. <laughs> take. I need you to take a seat. And then show us your house, mother.
Ah, my people, as you can all see, today is indeed another great day. Yes. In our history, eh? the gods have blessed me. The gods have blessed this kingdom with a seed from my loins. Hey, my son. The heir to the throne of Obudu. Today I declare that he shall be called Ikemba the second. Yeah. 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 Yeah.